In 1928, Irving Schott, a cigar smoking, motorcycle riding comrade, made the first zip up motorcycle jacket and named it after his favorite Cuban cigar, the Perfecto. It was designed specifically for a Beck distributor called Harley Davidson in Long Island, New York. This original timeless piece was cut of thick leather and featured heavy zippers, made sturdy enough to protect motorcyclists. They sold for $5.50. 1933. Flight jackets are made for pilots with shearling lined collars and lapels. They would insulate and keep our U.S. pilots shielded from the elements. Schott's naval pea coats and leather jackets would protect our U.S. military for the next 70 years. 1950s. The Wild Ones. A controversial cult film starring Marlon Brando and Rebel Without a Cause starring James Dean are released. Schott's Perfecto jacket takes on a negative vibe in social status. Schools around the country banned the jackets because it represented rebels and misfits. 1960, the Perfecto reaches Europe. Yves Saint Laurent translates it to mod culture. 1970s and 80s, flight jackets are for everyone, not just pilots. Punk rock movement adopts patch-covered leather jackets as a symbol of freedom. 80s, metal-studded, cropped, and oversized jackets are the fad. Rock stars like Ramones, Blondie, and Joan Jett rock their look. 90s, the naval peacoat and bomber jackets are back. Today, leather isn't only for jackets. Zippers and studs rock every age, shape, and size. Harley Davidson and leather, not just a fad, it's a culture. Yeah.